Hey, this is Kyle. I'm just going to show you to complete this nav 101 thing in a few minutes. It's really annoying, so I like to take shortcuts. Well, what we're going to need is Firefox and Firebug. So you get Firefox. If you don't already have it, just do a Google, Google search for Firefox. Um, hit this, hit download, install it, and this will show up. You get Firebug, just do a Google search for Firebug. Hit download. And then just do add this to Firefox and then a little pop-up menu will come up and you just hit install. And that's how you do that. Okay, so once that's done, we just need to go to nav101, uh, navigation101.com. Enter your stuff in, hit login. And then all these come up. Just start on the first one. Um, and then it opens up this window. All we have to do to complete this is to finish the quiz at the end. So we're going to use Firebug and we're going to skip to that quiz. So here, let me do that again. You right click and you do inspect element with Firebug. If you don't see this, then you didn't install Firebug right. So go back and do that again. And then all these little menus come up. There's a the console, HTML, CSS. We're going to go to cookies and we're going to look for this module page cookie. You right click, you hit edit, and this is what page you're on right here. So since this thing has 190 pages, we're going to go to about page 180. Hit OK, and then just exit this, that will exit Firebook too. And then you start it again, and it's going to skip you right to page 180. Then just hit the back button to get to the beginning of the quiz, and then after that you just fill out the quiz, and that one will be marked complete. Okay, so 95% of the time, these quiz questions are just common sense. But in here, there is a few tricky ones every once in a while. So if you don't know the answer, you can go to the first page of the quiz. That's 179. And we need to go to the page right before that. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to edit the cookie. And we're going to go to page 178. And then we're going to restart it. And right before the quiz, there's usually these review sheets that have all the answers to the quiz questions on them. So what you do is you go to it and you hit print screen, and then you can go to paint. Here, let me start a new one. Okay, and then let's grab that. And sometimes there's more, so we just make a little more room. Okay, then grab this one, hit print screen again, hit control V on paint. Sorry, I don't know if I said that or not. And then you basically just got the two review sheets on here. And we can just reference these when we go through the quiz because all the answers are going to be on here. Another thing we can do is during the quiz, we do inspect that one with Firebug again. If we have this on, if you go to the document objects uh, tab, so every time we go to the next page, it's going to make another request. And in the response from the request is going to be the correct answer. So if you go to this DOM thing and um, we know that we're on page 180, so you just look for that in here, it says P equals 180. And you expand that. And the correct answer is always in there. So the correct answer to this one is A and C. So you just look for the JSON data that's A and C. So this is A, competitive. And then C is this one, so open. And then for the next slide, it's the same thing is going to happen. Here's B equals 181, so we expand that one. Okay, the correct answer is C. So where's C? Right here. So reach target and safety schools. And that's how basically I can get the right answer to all of them. So just in case you don't know, you can use either one of the methods I just gave you to find the right answer. Okay, so finally, there are a few lessons that you do have to go through the whole thing because there will be like a random input text field somewhere in there, like how did you enjoy Nav 101 or something. And those are just in random spots. So you might have to go through the whole thing. So if you finish the quiz and it doesn't count as complete, just you can either try and follow this part of the video and do it the fast way or just start at the beginning and do it the slow way. 
uh, this is a bit harder to follow. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to overwrite that function that always makes me slow down when I'm going through the lesson. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to hit view page source and I'm going to go to the module JavaScript and I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to look up JS Beautifier just to make that code a little more fancy. So I'm going to copy it in here. I'm going to hit Beautify. I'm going to copy all this and I'm going to put it into a notepad. You can put it into whatever you want. I like Notepad++ just because I'm used to it, I guess. Okay, and then I'm going to look for whatever makes me slow down. So I'm going to look for that please slow. Here it is. Please slow down, blah, blah, blah. So whatever function that's in, I want to rewrite that function. So it looks like it starts right here. So it's like this prototype update page thing. So you copy this whole thing. You go to Firebug, which I haven't opened yet. Um, I'm going to go to console and you get these two little sides. You want to go on the right side and you want to copy that in. Okay, we can then edit this and we can have Firebug reposted on the page so it will overwrite the old uh, function. So this whole if statement right here, get this bigger. This whole if statement right here is what makes us slow down. So I'm just going to take that whole thing out. And then you want the console to be on persist so that the JavaScript stays. And then at the bottom of this, you just hit run. And that basically just turned off that slow down thing. But then another thing we run into is this thing. And after every answer we do, it makes us wait for like five seconds. So I'm going to try and find that function too. So it's probably like a set time out thing. Um, there's going to be a bunch of them. Yeah, this is probably it. So it's right here. So I'm going to get this function again. And now I'm going to rewrite this one as well. I'm going to go back to Firebug. I'm just going to put that right under. And I'm going to set that transition time to 100 milliseconds. I shall just go 50 instead of 2500. And then I hit run again at the bottom right here. Okay, and then we go back to the lesson. And now we can basically just go as fast as we want. It's never going to slow us down. Um, so yeah, and then you can just fill out whatever field or whatever you need to. And it's never going to slow us down. So yeah, if you can follow this, then just do whatever. Um, try and put the JavaScript in right, I guess. <laughs> Don't mess up. If you can't follow this, then just do it the slow way. Sorry, I'm not good at explaining what's going on here. but. This is how it works. <laughs> All right, so thanks for watching. Good luck.